Talmud Bavli Gemara Brachot Perik Shishi Daf Lamed Zayin Amud Bet Chapter Six Page Thirty Seven B. Just starting at the beginning of the sentence on the page before. Rabbi Yehuda Amar Mishma. Rabbi Yehuda says in Raman Damliel's name, Kol Shehu Mishivat Aminim. Any fruit that is of the seven species. Velo and now the top of Lamed Zayin Bet. Velo min dagan hu, but is not a species of grain. Or min dagan velo asa or pat, or a species of grain, but he did not make it into bread. Rabban Damliel Omer Shalosh Brachot. Rabban Damliel says three blessings. Abrakan Amazon. Bechachamim or min brachachat. But the sages say the one blessing of bridgement. Kol sheino kol sheino lo mishivat aminim velo min dagan. Anything that is not of the seven species, nor a species of grain, kegon pat orez vedochan, such as orez bread or dochan bread, Rabban Gamliel or Mebracha, had me'en shalosh, Rabban Gamliel says the one blessing of bridgement of three, vechacha mi momrim velochlum, but the sages say nothing at all. Vamai o kimta, how have you interpreted it? Ke Rabban Gamliel, in accordance with Rabban Gamliel, Ema Seifa Deresha say the latter clause of the first part in Ein Haprusot Kayemot if the pieces are not intact, that is, they're no longer considered bread. But Chila Mevarecha Lea Borei Minim Ezonot. At the beginning, he recites and at the blessing, Borei Minim Ezonot. Vasoch Mevarecha Lea Bracha Achat Me'en Shalosh. And at the end, he recites and at the one blessing of bridgement of three. Mani, whose, uh, whose view is this? I Rabban Gamliel, if he says Rabban Gamliel, Hashda Akutavot Vadaisa Amar Rabban Gamliel Shalosh Brachot. Now that on dates and on Daisa, Rabban Gamliel says three blessings of Birkat Mazana said, Im Ein Haprusot Kayamot Mi Mi Baya. If the pieces are not intact, can there be any doubt that you say Birkat Mazan? Ela Pshita Rabbanan. Rather, it's obvious that it is the rabbis. If so, Kashia de Rabbanan de Rabbanan of the rabbis uh, there contradicts that of the rabbis. So the first Baraisa contradicts the second Baraisa. Elalolam Rabbanan. Rather, indeed, the author of the first Baraisa is the rabbis. Utni Gabe Ores. And it should uh, read with regard to Ores. And at the end, he does not recite anything on it at all. Amarava Rava said, Hai Rihata de Hakla A. This Rahita of this Rihata. Rihata is another name for Chavitz, cooked in a pot. So, Hai Rihata de Hakla A. De Hakla E Rihata of the villages, De Mapshe, sorry, De Mapshe Be Kimcha, if you add a lot of flour to it, Mevarech Bore Minimazonot, one recites on it, Bore Minimazonot, Maitama, what's the reason? What's the reason? Dismida Ika, because the flour is the primary ingredient, Dimchoza de lo Mapshe Be Kimcha, of the city dwellers who do not all add a lot of Add a lot of flour to it in their rihata. Mevarecha lav shekol niyebivaro. They recite on it shekol niyebivaro. My tama. What's the reason? Do sheika because the honey is the primary ingredient. Vadar amar rava rava then said idi vi idi bore minimizanot. Both on this and on that, on both types of rihata, uh, you say bore minimizanot. The rav shmuel damre tarvie or for rav and shmuel who both say. Any food that contains of the five species of grain, even if the grain is a minority, we recite in it the blessing, I'm just going to scroll down. So on the screen we're at uh, the top line, far left, Amar Rav Yosef, which on the page is almost, and it's about a third of the way down uh, with the Aleph and the Rish on the left-hand side, Amar Rav Yosef. 
Amar Rav Yosef, Rav Yosef said, Hai Chavitza, this Chavitza, to eat Beipurim, Kazayit, that has in a piece of bread the size of an olive, but Hilame Barecha Lav Hamatila Heminaret, at the beginning, one recited of the blessing, Hamatila Heminaret, Uvasok Mevarecha Lav Shalosh Brachot, and at the end, uh, one recited of three blessings, that is Birkar Mazon, Delayed be purin kazayit that does not have an, have in it pieces of bread the size of an olive. Does kila mevarecha la bore mine mezonot at the beginning one recites with the blessing bore mine mezonot. Uvasok racha chat me en shalosh and at the end the one blessing of bridgement of the three. Amar of Yosef of Yosef said men amin ala from where do I know this? The Tanya for us taught in Brisa. One was standing and offering menachot in Yerushalayim. Omer Baruch Shehecheyanu Likiyamanu Vigiyanu Lezman Hazeh And he says, the Shehecheyanu Bracha, who has kept us alive, sustained us and brought us to this season. Nat Natala Nat Laachlan He, the Kohen, takes the menachot to eat them. So menachot are flower offerings. Some are brought as actual flour, while others are brought, brought after the flour is made into bread, through baking in an oven or frying on a flat pan or in a deep pan. Uh, so, metal and lachlan, he, the pine, takes the menachot to eat them. Mevarech hamotilechem in haaretz. He recites the blessing, hamotilechem in haaretz. But Allah, and the Mishnah states with regard to the baked menachot, the chulan potatan kazait, and all of them one breaks uh, into pieces the size of an olive. Amalei Abaye Abaye said to Rabbi Yosef, Ela ma'ata, but it should follow. Latana David, Rabbi Ishmael Dama, Purchan ad Shemachaziran, the Sultan, according to the Tana of Rabbi Ishmael's academy, who says, one crushes them until he returns them to their flower. So too, that one does not need to recite the blessing. And if you should say that it is indeed uh, that one does not say Hamotzi. But Tanya, why? It has been taught in a Baraisa. Likate mikulan kazaitvachlan. If one gathered from all of them the size of an olive, that is small little pieces, and added it up to the size, of, up to bread the size of an olive, and ate them in chametzo, if it was chametz, and he added on pesach, anush karet, he would be punished with karet. The imatzahu, and if it was unleavened bread, adam yotze bo yedechov atob pesach, a person could fulfill with it his obligation on pesach. Askinan. What are we dealing with here? The son with where one formed pieces into a dough uh, and made a new matter, a new like a new piece of matter. Ihachi is so. Emesefa consider the end. Baraisa vehu shachlam bichte achila pras. And this is that he ate them with the span of time that it takes to eat a half loaf. The e b'sharasan, and if we want to form them into a dough, hai shachlan, this, that he ate them, she'achlu mibayele, should have been expressed that he ate it. Hacha b'mei askinan, rather, what are we dealing with here? Beva milechem gadol, with small pieces of bread that come from a large piece of bread. May have Allah, what is uh, so... What about it? Or what, what do we do regarding it? Amar Rav Sheshet, Rav Sheshet said, Hai Chavitza, this is a Chavitza. Ah, al gav delayed be perurin kazayit, even though it does not, consist, does not contain pieces of bread the size of an olive, mevarecha lav hamotzi lechem in haaretz, one recites upon it hamotzi lechem in haaretz. Amar Rava, Rava said, Behu deika ale turit torita, and this is provided that the appearance of bread is upon it. 
trokanin chayvin bechala. Trokanin are subject to chala. What's trokanin? That is classified as bread and subject to chala. Vechi ataravin amar Rabbi Yochanan, and when Ravin came. He, uh, that's, that is, he came from Eretz Israel to Babel, to Babylonia. He said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Trokanin pturin min hachala. Trokanin are exempt from chala. My trokanin, what are trokanin? Amar Abaye, Abaye said, Kuva da'ara. It's another name for kuva made in the ground. Uh, just to explain, this is a bread-like substance made by pouring flour and water into a cavity dug into the base of the oven where the mixture bakes as if in a pan. And it comes out very much like bread. And Abaye said, sorry, Bamar Abaye, and Abaye said, Trita Psura Minachala, Trita is exempt from Chala. My Trita, what is Trita? Ika de Amre Gevil Maratach, there are those who say Trita is scalded batter. Scalded batter is it made by mixing flour and water into a very loose batter. The batter is then poured directly onto a hot stove. The batter is very loose, it spreads out on the hot stove. Uh, and does not assume the form of bread, and is not classified as bread, and not subject to chala. There are those who say that Trisa is scalded batter. The ika de amre nahama dehin deka, and there are those who say that it is Indian bread. Indian bread is a dough baked on a spit, while being smeared constantly with oil or raw eggs. The ikad de amre lechem ha asui lechutach, and there are those who say that trisa, trita is bread made for kutach. Kutach is a dip made from sour milk, mouldy bread crust, and salt. The bread used for kutach was baked in the sun rather than in an oven. That's what Rashi says, and then was broken up and put into the kutach. Tane Rabbi Chia, Rabbi Chia taught no beraisa lechem. Asui lechutach patur min hachala bread made for kutach is exempt from chala. Vehatanya for those taught in a brisa chaya vechala it is subject to chala. Hatam ki ki te katane tama ta tama as the brisa states. Rabbi Yehuda Omer Rabbi Yehuda says maseha mochichin aleha. The manner in which it is made indicates what it is. Asa'an, if he made them, I'll just finish this. Ka'avin, in the shape of bread rolls. Chayavin, they are subject to chala. Kelimudin, in the shape of a board. Then peturim, they are exempt from chala.